Okay, this video tutorial just shows you how to complete your goods return note. Um, absolutely brilliant facility that CleanEasy give us, which allows us to enter the details of any products that we wish to return to CleanEasy and receive the equivalent credit to our account within 24 hours. So that means we get the credit before we've actually physically sent the goods back to CleanEasy. And we can request several credits during the clean easy sales period, so don't accrue your returns as soon as you take something back from a customer. Key on, as I'm going to show you now, to get your credit. And then physically, you will actually send the products back just once a period in week one or week two of the sales period. Don't physically send back or request more than one return per period, otherwise you will incur a £10 charge. If you just send them back the once, then there is no charge for sending your returns back. Okay, so we're on the distributor support arena. Let's go onto the internet ordering site. And if you look at the drop down menu on the left hand side, you will find we've got goods return note. Click on that, and that gives us a drop down menu of three goods return note entry, previous returns notes, and a help section. So let's go into the goods return note entry. And you'll see here um, earlier in this period, we've already entered one item, which is a glow in the dark alarm clock, which wasn't suitable for the customer. And we've already received the credit from Clean Easy, even though that product is still sitting in a box in our garage. Now, what we've got to do now is we've got three more items to enter, which were uh, from a delivery we recently received, and uh, the customer bought three drain covers, and they weren't a suitable size for the drains that the customer had at their house. So we've picked them up, we've refunded the customer their money, and now we're going to um, claim our credit for those. Now, um, the first thing you'll have to do is you see where the cursor is flashing here is enter the invoice number that our drain covers or the product you're going to return was um, was delivered on and if you look at your parcel contents note it's rather unhelpful to notice that there is an invoice number there which is completely wrong so don't use the number off your parcel contents note you can find your invoice number most easily from the email invoice that you'll have received from Clean Easy for your goods. Um, if you've mislaid that or it's got somewhere in your, your inbox and you want to have a look here, you can uh, just click on previous orders and we can find the relevant order. Now I know that that order uh, was invoiced was on the 29th of March. So we'll come to the drop down box here, go to the 29th of March and there we have it. Uh, the invoice number that we need is that and if, if you're not sure what date it was you can click through all your previous orders and just scroll down to make sure that you've got the right one with those products on it and if we have a look here a bit further down we should find we've got three drain covers let's just double check that there we are drain covers black three of them Okay, so the product code is 078565, and just make a note of that. And the invoice number that we need, all we can do here is if we can just copy that, right click to copy, go back into our goods return note section, goods return note entry, and I can now paste that invoice number into the screen here. The product number that I made a note of was 078565. The quantity is 3. Drop down box here for the reason code. You've got broken, package damage, wrong size, not required, not suitable, not ordered, duplicate, or other. In this case, they were the wrong size for the customer. And <clears throat> what we're going to do now is we're going to add those to the box that I've got in the garage. I'm going to make sure that you can physically fit those products into the same box as the other things. So my three drain covers are now appearing up here alongside my glow in the dark alarm clock. And now let's accept that current credit. A little pop-up box there with a couple of reminders on it. We'll just click OK on that. And that's it. The goods return note credit has been accepted successfully and within 24 hours those um, drain covers will be credited back onto our account. Now what, we've, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to close this box off and we're going to show you how to return it to Clean Easy because it's, it's a very simple process but you do need to get it right. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just scroll down to the bottom of the screen
and we're going to complete the entire returns note. It says this action will accept the goods return note as being complete and it will send it via the internet to Clean Easy to process. The products associated with this goods return note must be returned to Clean Easy by and it gives us the date. Uh, you'll not be allowed to edit anything on this good returns note. A return note for each box must be printed prior to dispatch and attach the relevant box. I'll show you how we do that. Do we wish to proceed? Yes, we do. Okay, so we've got an immediate pop-up from um, our internet provider to tell us that we've got a, an email from the service centre at Clean Easy telling us that our credit note has all been dealt with. Um, and we do now have here the paperwork which needs to be um, printed in, in duplicate. We need to print off two copies of this. Um, it's got our returns note number, account number, name, our address, and the items that are in this box, three drain covers and a glow-in-the-dark alarm clock. One of these bits of paper is going to go inside the box so that Clean Easy can check it off when, they, when it arrives at Accrington and the second one is for your parcel force driver to either sign or he will stick a barcode on it to say that he has picked it up and that's your proof that the returns have gone back and it's really important you get that right so what we need to do now is we need to select two copies to print scroll down here and we're going to print that off make sure i've got the right printer selected and they're now printing off on the printer and I'll show you just a short video now um, which will show you then how to box the returns up and get them picked up by your driver. Okay, so the process of actually boxing up your returns, very simple, but you just need to get it right. A few bits and pieces you need first of all. One of your clean easy boxes, ready to put your returns into. Um, obviously your return products, so there's the alarm clock. And there's the drain covers. Um, in every delivery you get, you're going to have one of these yellow um, packing sheets. And in the top corner, just there, you've actually got a returns label. Now that, you, you can use a returns label from any um, packing sheet. It doesn't have to be the one relevant um, to the goods you're sending back. Um, that's self adhesive, so you just peel that off and you're going to stick that on the outside of the box. Um, you're going to need a felt pen for writing the details on the outside of the box. Um, recommend you get yourself a roll of decent parcel tape. And then a simple case of taking the returns, popping them into the box, like so. You need to try and, and pack them a little bit, so keep some, some packing material. I've got some um, blue polythene here which came with one of the, the brooms we had delivered. So we'll put that in the box and um, then we'll, we'll box it up. Okay, next thing we've got is the summary of returns that we've printed off. Well, that's the one that's going to go inside the box with the goods, really important. And then you've got your summary here, which as you can see, you need to complete yourself with your details, and then your driver will need to sign it and date it, or we'll stick a barcode sheet on just to uh, show that that's been done. So let's get that all boxed up now. Okay, so there we go. The box is now securely taped up, as you can see. And what we've done here is we've stuck the returns label. And then important details you need to put on the outside is your um, distributor number, your name, the returns note number, and what number box it is. If you're sending two boxes back, it's going to be one of two and two of two. Inside the box, we've got the um, summary of returns. So that's all identifies it when it gets back to Clean Easy. And there's our summary of returns sheet ready for the driver to collect. That's been filled in by ourselves. And as I said, uh, previously the driver will sign that and date it or we'll put a barcode sticker on. Um, the only final thing you've got to do then is, of course, when you place your order in week one or week two, um, in the final check screen, you need to book a returns collection. And on that, you'll just put how many boxes you've got to pick up, one box, two box, etc. That way your driver knows that there is a parcel to collect. And it's as simple as that.